Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Virgo. This is going to be your bonus love reading. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and Instagram will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transaction, so I appreciate you for your patience. Keep in mind these energies are interchangeable. This could be you, your partner, whoever. This definitely could be a vice versa reading, okay? So I'm seeing here that you want to manifest change. You want change in your life now, okay? Because I see, um, yeah, I see you're attached to somebody who keeps making you sad here, okay? Um, there's a codependency, um, abandonment issue, basically an inner child wound here, okay? And you're being asked to, um, to basically cut off this attachment here because it's draining you here, okay? But I see you allowing more time before you make a decision to leave this situation because not only are you attached to this person, um, you really love this person. You wanted a family with this person here. You want security with this person here. Um, you want to manifest um, an empire with this person, okay? You want to build something with this person here. Um, you want it to really bad, I'm seeing. But you're being asked to look within yourself for your security, okay? You're being asked to realize that you are whole and you don't need anyone to hold your hand to manifest with you. That that you're full on your own. King Midas doesn't need anyone to manifest his empire. He's whole on his own. He believes he can do it, so he does it. Um, so that's basically what they're being, what is being asked of you here. And I'm seeing this is giving you a lot of inner conflict here. It's also bringing you into some confusion because I'm seeing you really want to commit to this person and you want this person to commit to you because you feel a very strong connection with this person. But you're being asked to um, have great inner strength here. You're being asked to have great inner strength here and to um, take yourself away from this situation so you can give yourself time to become a butterfly here because this person's going to keep you at a caterpillar state, all right? And you're being asked to um, let yourself flourish, take time away from this person, take yourself out of this situation so you can be on your own and you could become this confident butterfly here, okay? Because I'm seeing you have the desire to move on. You're not being fulfilled here. You want something more meaningful, spiritual, and emotional here. And I'm seeing you want to manifest um, a way out of this situation. Okay? You want to manifest a way out of this situation. And um, it's also like you're tired of this person um, disappointing you, not fulfilling you. Um, you don't like that they get chased by other people. And I just see you wanting to take yourself out of this equation here. Um, and I see you're going to defend what you feel you deserve here. You're not going to settle for less than what you deserve here. Um, you're being asked to end this cycle even though it is giving you a lot of inner conflict to do so. And to gain this higher perspective here. Um, yeah, gain a higher perspective here. See, see how this is um, coming into play here, okay? See why this person was brought into your life and reflect inward to learn the lessons from it, okay? Learn all you can from this situation here because um, this is for the better, okay? This is for the better. Um, learn your lesson from this and this is going to help you be more optimistic this is going to help you see the bigger picture of what's really going on here how this person is fitting into your life and this is also um asking you to have confidence in yourself to know that you can manifest anything you need all by just being you you don't need anybody to hold your hand here okay and it's being you're being asked to um Gain this higher perspective also so you can see the abundance that is truly around you here, okay? Because um, I'm feeling somebody's energy is feeling like like disappointment. Why does life always happen to me? Um, but it, really, you're not seeing that life is happening for you here. This was to teach you some beautiful life lessons that is going to take you farther. Um, that's going to help build you up. It's going to help build you up into this beautiful um, butterfly here, okay? So that's really what I'm seeing here for you guys. Um, you're really being asked to get this higher perspective, this understanding. So this can also give you some peace of mind here, okay? Um, and the person that you're dealing with here, um, I'm seeing this is more of uh, this is more as you though, because I asked on the side how this person was feeling about you, but this is really um, more about you here. I'm seeing. Um, 
This is giving you a lot of inner conflict when you deal with this person because there's a competition around them. And I'm seeing you're expecting the worst here, but you're also opening up your eyes and realizing that this is a karmic relationship here, okay? And that um, this person that you're dealing with, um, they like to keep you in the dark about stuff. They don't want you to see what's going on behind your back here, okay? So I definitely see you're, you're waking up to that. And you're also realizing that this is karmic, that there's a lesson to be learned from this. So I definitely see you're being encouraged to look within for those lessons um, and gain the higher perspective. And see that life really isn't all that bad, okay? Life happens for you, not to you. This is to build you up and to be th to being this beautiful butterfly um, into being King Midas. So this is actually really, really positive and probably isn't what you wanted to hear, but this is really, really positive. And, you know, um, these readings are general. <laughs> yeah, these readings are general. Um, as the channel grows, I'm picking up on more energies, more and more energies. So, you know... Um, this isn't going to resonate with everybody. Don't force feed the reading. Um, if you're in a happy relationship, you probably shouldn't be watching this anyway. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Um, I definitely see you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Leo. I see Leo twice. You could be dealing with um, a Libra, um, an Aquarius, um, Aries, Sagittarius. Taurus, um, another Virgo. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. I hope that was good for you guys, and I'm going to catch you next week, okay? Bye.